question that will undoubtedly go through people's minds when considering travel to Iraqi Kurdistan is, is it safe? Well, it's worth noting that it is technically part of Iraq, but it is a semi-autonomous region which is governed and security is controlled by the Kurds of the North, and that has led the Foreign Office to actually say that they think it's a safe region to go to. You can fly directly in there without having to go via Baghdad. Uh, visas are free of charge and are available on arrival and security there is very tight and at no stage did myself or any of the other people that I was travelling with feel in any danger whatsoever. The Kurds take it very, very seriously. They've obviously suffered over the years at the hands of the um, Arabs of the South and they are very proud of the fact that they consider Iraqi Kurdistan to be a safe destination to visit and to come for business, as a lot of people do. Why would you want to travel to Iraqi Kurdistan? Well, I have to admit there is a certain cachet about saying that you've been to Iraq and I'm sure there are some people out there who are very well travelled um, and that missing box or that missing stamp in their passport is going to be one of the pulls or one of the things that at least gets them thinking about travelling to Iraqi Kurdistan but in reality there's actually so much more to visit. This is ancient Mesopotamia, the land between the two rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates, and so there are remnants of ruins of these amazing civilizations, the Sumerians, the Babylonians, the Assyrians, the Akkadians, all lived through here, all left their remains, and they're still finding more and more traces of those amazing civilizations up in the mountains of Kurdistan. Um, and the mountains really is something which people don't expect from the Middle East. Yes, maybe if you've been to Lebanon, you'll have seen some of the beautiful mountains, but these are these are different. These are absolutely strikingly beautiful mountain ranges with waterfalls, with glaciers. Um, I stood on a glacier in 42 degree heat in the middle of summer in the Middle East. Not something I ever expected to do. In addition, there's a chance to actually meet and engage with the Kurdish people. The Kurds are the largest ethnic group in the world that don't have their own country. And this is the first real opportunity that they've had to self-govern. And it's something which they are taking very seriously. They're very proud of the fact that they've got this region now under their control. And with the oil and gas reserves that they purport to have, they can do wonders if they govern themselves well and if they choose to manage that money carefully. It's an exciting time to visit the country. It is very much in its early stages, but if that's the type of travel that excites you, then I can't imagine of many more exciting places in the world to visit at this stage.